Uh, former President Olusha Gmobasanjo has clarified his position that oil found in the Niger Delta region belongs to Nigeria constitutionally. Obasanjo was reacting to allegations by Niger Delta elder Edwin Clark that the former president showed a disappointing hatred against the people of the oil producing states in Nigeria. However, Obasanjo says he was wrongly accused. The former president noted that his comments on the issue were misconstrued. According to him, the constitution did not confer ownership of oil and other mineral resources on any of the then regions. He insisted that uh, just as the oil in the Niger Delta belongs to the Nigerian Federation, the minerals in other parts of the country also belong to the country. <coughs> Right. Uh, for more on this, Arise analyst uh, Biodo Adeni joins me now on Newsnight. Thank you so much for uh, joining us and uh, happy holidays to you. Hope Thank you're enjoying you so it so far. You. Yeah, we're trying. <laughs> all right. <laughs> so the question is, should there be any controversy at all about the ownership of oil and mineral resources in Nigeria? Well, if so, it's, why? Well, it's interesting to see that the controversy... Um, is happening between two elder statesmen and of course you know uh, these two are imbued with lots of wisdom and when, when they talk ordinarily we're supposed to listen uh, because we can take it for granted that they have the interest of the nation at half uh, given their pedigree you know but the points they have raised is an age-old one it's not a new thing it's something that has been with us and the point from where uh, Chief Ike Clark is speaking is not also new, you know, because he's a, lead, a South South leader, and there has been these agitations in the years on resource control, mm -hmm. you know, greater um, access uh, to resources by the Niger uh, Delta people, the South South people, on yeah. account of the oil, which is the mainstay of our economy originating from that place, you know, and that has led to several development, NDDC, amnesty, 30% uh, derivation, and all kinds of consideration, even though it's still not enough you know but of course yes. we also have this prescription of the constitution which says mineral resources you know should be on the exclusive list you know as constitutionally guaranteed that's the so point that president, president, Obasanjo, president Obasanjo yeah, that's correct. the point he's actually he's making correct yeah. when he makes that statement that's right when he makes that point well then it, it seems it raises this debate around uh, resource control mm. true federalism and uh, you know derivation recall that in October of 2020 uh, the deputy Senate President Uvi Omar Gege actually raised a very fundamental question as to why a Zamfara state can keep the proceeds of gold it sells. Why shouldn't it you know, appeal or you know, uh, be the same situation with the Niger Delta? But as I think so these issues, in terms of these control issues, we, is something that is actually fundamental. And they speak to the heart of, um, you know, their nation building efforts, you know. And of course, some of these matters are also constitutional, mm -hmm. uh, which is why we should have, um, we should have um, tried as much as possible to ensure that some of these things, provisions are injected into the constitution. You know, when the review was on, you know, sometimes uh, early this year or maybe and um, towards the later part of last year. These are constitutional matters, fundamental matters that cannot be altered through policy pronouncements or through um, maybe uh, our regular wishes. We expect sentiments and emotions to flay up, uh, mm. uh, play off, you know, to flay off because of our configuration as a multi-ethnic plural um, society. And of course, most of the time our leaders are talking uh, for the people or they are supposedly talking to the people and they cannot deviate from what the people will feel um, satisfied about in the first instance. But uh, there are issues that will continue, but fundamental to it again in Gozi is um, how we manage these, these differences, these divergences. And managing it means that there should be harmony of purpose. You know, if the resources come, the resources kind of come from anywhere, mm. but how do we, what have we done with the resources? How well have we managed it for the interest of the generality of the people? Are they being, uh, you know, aggrandized, you know, by some selfish interest, or are they deployed for the good use of the people? And of course, the areas where the resources come from, are they being prioritized, or, or they are just being left, you know, uh, to suffer from degradation? You know, what level of attention is being paid to them? If well, those issues are really addressed, I don't think we'll bother much about um, what the level of priority we'll give to um, areas where the resources are coming from. How can both gentlemen, elder statesmen, yeah. meet each other halfway? I mean, 
symbolically, definitely. That's my uh, yeah. point. Because when OBJ, uh, Basson Joe says, look, oil found in the Niger Delta yeah. belongs to Nigeria. Yeah. But somebody bears the brunt of oil exploration. And the Niger Deltans will tell you that they have borne uh, the brunt of exploration uh, over the years. Yeah, no Should it matter at yeah. all? Have they been, you know, uh, well rewarded? For, you know, yeah, the, yeah. The, there are valid reasons why we can say that they still, they, they would, would they still, they would still have to do more, you know, to um, work on the environment that is ordinarily being degraded through exploration. <coughs> You know, so many reasons, irrespective of the increased attention paid to them uh, since the dawn of democracy. More efforts still have to be done. But back to your question on where they can meet, they can meet at the point of law. It's about regulation. What does the law say in the circumstance? You know, what does the constitution say about um, control of resources? Mineral resources are still on the exclusive list. If we want to change it, of course, it has to be constitutional again because, like in a plural nation like ours, we can only be, only be managed and regulated by you know, the dictates of the law. Otherwise, there will be um, you know, crisis and anarchy, which nobody wants. You know, so it's about law, and of course, if there are concerns about sections of the law that we need to change so that there can be seamless progress, we know um, how to go about it. You know, maybe through okay. the prism of the instrumentality of the National Assembly. All right, you know, as the case could be. Thank you so much, Abiodun Adeni is a Rise News Analyst. Thanks for joining My us. My pleasure. Thank on you. News